art based on the American flag and the colors are red, white, and blue. Monday is Memorial Day, which kind of starts off all of our patriotic holidays like July 4th, Independence Day, um, Labor Day, and all those other great picnic-like holidays we like to celebrate during the summer. So we're going to focus on patriotic pattern art, which you're going to create a star or a heart in the middle of your artwork, and we're going to use the colors red, white, and blue. And also think about patterns to use around your border of your star. Now don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do all of this when we get into the art room. So behind me, I have the first American flag made from 1776 by Betsy Ross. Um, and there's only 13 stars in here for our colonial states, and today we have 50 stars for all 50 states. So let's get going and let's make some art. All right, so to begin your patriotic pattern art, you're gonna start with a piece of paper, and you can also start with a little piece of paper for a template. I'm gonna show you how to draw a star and a heart um, if you want a tracer. And also markers, um, water, I have water in a mug, and also a paintbrush. This is optional, I'm gonna make mine look like tie-dye. And you also want a black Sharpie or a black marker. So to begin, I'm gonna show you how to do a heart tracer, um, which is simple, all you need to do is you get a piece of scrap paper, fold it in half, and then you are going to draw kind of like a candy cane shape. So you're going to start somewhere. Oh, the important part is you want to make sure the fold is on the side where the two sides of your, point, your points are. So where you're going to start drawing, you want your folded side at. So my folded side is on the left, and I'm going to make kind of like a rainbow shape. And then I am going to start going down. And my goal is to go to the corner of my paper. All right, so there is my heart. And now I'm going to cut it out. So there you go. So now I have my heart tracer. Now if you want to draw a star, Stars are a little bit more difficult, but I'm going to show you how to draw a five-pointed five star, um, which we're going to simply draw an upside-down V. And this can be pretty big, so you want to draw an upside-down V. And then from the point E to end it, you're going to draw a line and cross over this line, your first line you drew. You're going to cross over, try in the middle, and then you're going to cross over this way. And then you're going to connect your two lines left. So if you make a mistake like I did here, it's kind of like a little point, that's okay. You can always just draw a little, little line. And I'm going to cut it out for a tracer. And I don't want to follow my lines. I just want to follow the outside shape of my tracer. Now for this project, I'm going to use the heart. So I got my blank piece of paper and you can go either vertically or horizontally, landscape or portrait method. it. I'm actually going to go into, let's go landscape. Or you can even go diagonal. I'm going to go diagonal. So I'm going to hold my heart down in the center. I'm going to trace it with Sharpie. If I would suggest tracing it with pencil first and then tracing it over just in case you make a mistake. And also remember, while drawing, press lightly in your pencil. So if you do make mistakes, they're easier to erase. And they're not less, they're less noticeable. All right, so from here, I'm gonna break out these sections. And another supply you might need or would like to use is a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you can always use like a book, a cracker box, anything with a straight edge. And I am simply going to break up these spaces by drawing lines and my sharpie is done. Alright, let's try this one. Much better. So you can break up your sections, break your white spaces into sections, and we're going to fill these with patterns and also our 
two colors of red, white, and blue. And you can also use light blue and dark blue too if you have other colors available. So it's up to you how many segments you create around your heart. And I'm going to trace my heart a little thicker than the thicker Sharpie. And remember, whatever materials you have at home, you may use. If you don't want to use markers, you can use crowns or paint or color pencils. You can do a little mixed media and do, use two materials or more. So I'm going to first design my background, my outside. So think of patterns in each one of these spaces. You're going to create a pattern. Now I've also included patterns in Google Classroom so you can look at the different kinds. So they can also be super simple. They can be lines. They can be circles. And if you want to use a tracer on these, you may. They can be swiggly lines. They can be hearts. You can have smiley faces crisscross lines, whatever you like. Let's see this one down here, I'll make, oh, like lightning bolt lines. Make a whole bunch of these. So you can make any patterns you want to, to fill up your spaces. Just think of maybe shapes, lines, use letters. And maybe for the last one, I'll use, I'll use X's and O's.
Alright, so my coloring took a little longer than I thought and my markers are starting to dry out, but that's okay. So I'm going to take my red and my blue and I'm going to make squiggly lines around my heart. So I'm going to just make kind of like squiggly lines all over and if you have to turn your heart to make it easier, you can do that. And we're just going to keep on going around one color. And then when you got the red, do blue. And you can do whatever you really want to on the inside of your heart or star or whatever shape you decide to use in the center. That is up to you. So you're just going to keep on going back and forth. And we're going to actually make this tie-dye looking. Hope it works. All right. Okay, so what you're going to do if you have a paintbrush at home or you can use a little piece of towel, you are going to, only in the inside of your heart, you are going to apply water. And it should, if you are using, now this is only going to work with water, um, water-based markers. If you're using Sharpie, it's not going to work. So if you add water on top of water-based markers, they'll start to bleed. And you can actually use that, use their pigment from their ink to kind of make it like a watercolory effect. So, and you can actually kind of like keep on moving around your brush and make the colors bleed more. Um, just be careful that you don't make purple because blue and red, if you remember, make purple. So there is like my tie-dye inspired heart. Um, enjoy, make sure you share your project with me at a stooler at pathwayschool.org. Alrighty, enjoy.